Alrighty, what's up guys? Welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris as the Squawk Confederacy. Now, it looks like we are continuing to power up our uh, our economy here, just spreading out. We've, uh, in the last episode or two, or three, or four, <laughs> we've met the Space Turtles here. And we've also met uh, these other people here who aren't super friendly. They don't really like us too much. And then down here, uh, we had the United new commonalities which is of course our rival so we're gonna have to keep an eye out for them so we're currently building up our fleet well actually our fleets is as high as it can go right now uh, so we've got that uh, there's a space amoeba over here which we can't quite fight yet so we're gonna leave that be for a little while but we do have some mining drones down here I think we're gonna go ahead and start a fight with them so let's go ahead and do that now, it looks like we have some unemployment going on, uh, or sorry, inactive buildings, mind you. So we have those two. This guy's still building, and this guy is just nothing there anyways. Okay, so we'll, we'll leave that for now. That's not super huge. Uh, it's just a couple of minerals. We can, we can get by without that for the time being. No big deal. Uh, though, honestly, uh, minerals are a bigger deal than energy right now. So let's sacrifice some energy in exchange for some minerals. Let's do that. So in the meantime, we have... Oh, we don't have any idle ships. Well, that's good. I'm a Kongath Prime. Are we making a spaceport yet? Uh, oh, we can't afford the spaceport. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so he's migrating. He's going to Blue. Okay, well that's good in a way, because then Blue will fill up. Okay, Feathers of Orange is leveled up. That's good. Our construction ship doesn't know what to do with himself, so we will build research stations. Oh, here we go. So we're probably going to get some... Uh, some very interesting things to research here once these uh, mining drones get wrecked by our guys. Now yeah, look at this. Ancient mining drones. Let's see how this fight goes. I think it'll go in our favor. <laughs> we uh, have a vastly superior force here. This should be no problem. Of course I've said that before. That off. Hostile yep. fleet engaged. Okay, so they're just gonna pick apart that mining station, which is fine. Once our science ship gets bored, he can come research this stuff. Actually, on second thought, I'm probably gonna uh, prioritize that. Because those uh, debris will not last forever. Situation log updated. All right. There we go. And we will send them home to be healed. Perfect. Now look at this system. Tree gem. Holy cow, look at this. Look at all those resources. <laughs> That's insane. I, I'm going to me, uh, be needing maybe another another ship. I don't know. It's kind of debatable here. Complete. Okay, what did Blue just make? That. Science ship, construction ship. Let's, uh, let's branch out a bit. Let's make one of each. Let's get a construct ship and a science ship. Okay, and all we're lacking on the assembly yards is 80 minerals. That's fine. Okay. What do we got going on on Kongath? Can we clear the tile blockers? No. 
We can't. Too expensive. Okay. That's okay. We're making some good money at this point. So we'll continue to power up here. Okay. Alright, so the Feather Force has been upgraded, or repaired at least. Alright. Nest Builder. That's our new construction ship. Very awesome. Alright, Nest Builder. Why don't you build that? Let's really try and power up our mineral income here. That's, that's the key. And we got a really nice start. I mean, eight minerals there. Construction complete. Two, seven, Debris analyzed. eight. Like, wow. So we've got lots of progress towards a whole bunch of cool crap. Mining drone lasers, nano composite materials, fusion power. That's good stuff. But it's not enough. We need to keep that going. Let's see, ah, construction ship is bored. We don't want that. So let's get you building stuff in uh, here. Yes, build that mining station. And we have a science ship. Great. Now I think we need... Yeah, we need to actually assign a leader. So we will recruit one. Research speed, research speed. Anomaly research speed. That seems a little more pertinent to what we need right now. So let's uh, get him on there. Investigating eye. Exactly. He's our survey dude. So let's go ahead and survey that system. Got some more uh, debris has been analyzed. And as long as you're sitting right there, you might as well survey the system. Anomaly found. Uh, okay. Let's research that. Okay. Actually, let's have a look at that real quick. Oh, I see. Alien specimen. Okay, great. Uh, oh, wait. No, this is it. Mineral Research cluster. Complete. An unusually deliberate geometric configuration of minerals just through the debris belt. Okay, cool. P Paradise Dome. Why does that sound familiar? Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. Never mind. My bad. We already we researched it. That's why it's uh, that's why it sounds familiar. We picked it earlier. That's what it was. Empire leader capacity plus two. That's really good. Form federation. Eh, we'll want that eventually. We don't care right now. Dangerous wildlife removal. We will need that for sure. This tell. Okay, we won't pick that. We're gonna need that eventually too. Let's get the tile blocker remover. That seems the most pertinent right now. All right, our construction ship is officially bored. So why don't you build those? What's this? Gilded cage. The mineral construct is, for lack of a better term, a room. Made out of the same type of minerals in the common use in the squawk and feathers. So this construct is a hollow... Ecos... Oh, damn, that word. Ecosado de cahi... Sorry. It's one of those. Resonance scans indicate that it's most, mostly hollow and is likely inhabited at some point in time. Unlike its pristine exterior, the interior is completely in, is in complete disarray, possibly the result of inten an intentional act of sabotage. Science officer Feathers of Orange reports that this makes it difficult to learn anything from the value of the construct's insides, but stresses that the engineering techniques involved in creating the outer shell, eminently capable of withstanding the stresses of deep space, must have been tremendously advanced. Very nice. He now has void craft trait. That's cool. Very cool. Okay. So that's alright. Getting things found. Okay, so we finished that. And you're already on your way to do that. That's good. Keep her going. Oh, board construction ship. No good. 
If you're bored, you can build all the mining stations. So it's looking pretty good so far. System survey complete. Okay, I am tempted to uh, start uh, looking at maybe colonizing more stuff here just because we can. Now, a lot of these worlds aren't very big, but to be honest, I think we're going to be a little more liberal about uh, which worlds we colonize. So, uh, we still can't build that. What about here? Okay, we still can't do that. Okay, so let's uh, let's save up for one more colony ship. Well, we don't have any super amazing planets to colonize. Those are pretty small, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll hold off. Maybe we'll make a rule like at least 15, 16 in size, maybe, so we're not like. Because you get you get research penalties, right? The more planets you have, which is kind of eh, not sure how I feel about it, but that's how it works. You get research penalties if you have too many uh, too many planets. Or the more planets you have, the bigger the research penalty, which is a little a little unfortunate. System survey complete. A little bit unfortunate. Like eleven minerals in there. Damn. Uh, I could send. Yeah, I could. We could do a. Uh, uh, what should we call it? There. We could do a uh, a frontier outpost to claim those resources, or I could colonize that complete. tropical world. Coil gun, excellent. We will upgrade our ships with the coil gun for sure. Plasma thrusters, yeah. Nano composite armor, get some new armor, and we've already got a little bit of research towards that. Let's get that. That's insane, by the way. So, I kind of feel like... See, I think... I think if you build... I think if you build a frontier outpost... Well, we're not sure how this works. Oh man, that's just barely not in range. Um... Okay, here we're gonna try this. We're gonna see how this works. Well, I could just colonize this anyways. That's kind of a crappy little world though. But it would give me access to a whole bunch of all these. Hmm. Let's let's experiment, see how this works. Because I'm not sure, because if you build a frontier outpost, then you can start building things in that area. But if you were to, because the Frontier Outpost costs you influence each month, so I'm kind of wondering, if you build the stations and then remove the Frontier Outpost, do you get to keep the state, like, does, Evading hostile fleet. does it work? Uh, Crystalline Entity. Okay, yeah, you be, you better be getting out of there in a hurry. Okay, so let's upgrade the Feather Force. I'm just curious what it has to say about the auto best Corvette. Mutilate class. So we're going to use... I feel like we can do better. Can we not? Yeah, we got two there. Oh no, that's all good. No armor, really? Medium coil gun, yeah. Okay, that's what we just researched. Surprised it hasn't thrown in. I guess it figures... Oh, well, whatever. That sounds all right. Let's do that. So let's remember 398. Let's see how long this takes. Oh, not very long at all. Ships upgraded. Nice. Complete. And we can build one more Corvette, and we will do that. And maybe, maybe, oh, derp. Maybe that'll let us uh, take on the space amoeba. Oh, here we go. Corvette assembly yard. Let's get that first. And then the Corvette. Okay. Anomaly found. Anomaly, nice. Briefly detected an unusual energy readings emanating from this moon. Might have been uh, 
A glitch in the systems, or it could be a sign of something more. Let's research that. Now we got a 30% chance to fail that. <laughs> but we're going to try it anyways. So we've got some nice worlds on the outset of our territory. Tundra. Oh, wow. So we need more colonizing tech. That's pretty important. All right. Idle construction ship. No good. Let's, uh, let's build the mining stations there. We are actually full on energy. How like how messed up is that? <laughs> Magnetic field of Shetty Va experienced a complete reversal while it was being observed by the investigating eye. This rare event has interchanged the position to the moon's magnetic poles. Fortunately, it was all recorded by the sensors of our ship, providing our scientists with a lot of valuable data. Nice. We got physics research out of that. Very nice. Now we have a board science ship. And uh, we have danger, danger over there. So let's uh, survey that. Okay. Okay. So the Feather Force is upgraded and it's waiting for its last ship. But we need to build the Corvette assembly yards before we can do that. It's just more optimal, you know. It gets faster. They, they build faster and cheaper. It just makes more sense to do it that way. Now, we are going to have to start sending these guys out. Uh, as soon as that Corvette is finished, they're going to have to start fighting in these outskirts because we, we, we need to start exploring. And how is our frontier outpost coming along? Pretty good, I guess. Beak of Grey has gained a level, and somebody has settled in next to us. Oh, that's our uh, our space turtle buddies. And they are gobbling up all these really nice planets. Okay, construction ship. What's that? Alright. Thirteen! Thirteen! Holy jeez, that's insane. I'll take it, though. Okay, why don't you move there? Like, 13! That's crazy! Uh, first of all... Build that station, please. Okay. System survey complete. Good. Good to hear. So, science ship there. What's that? Oh, he's busy surveying that. That's cool. We'll just start surveying these outlying uh, systems here. Hopefully don't run into any more uh, unpleasant aliens. Oh, building our last Corvette here. Oh, wait. We could build another one. Our fleet cap went up again. So let's do that. Anomaly found. Another anomaly. Excellent. A colossal impact crater hits at something big collided with the surface of his moon once. Okay. Fine. I do that. And the Feather Force is growing in power very, very rapidly here. Which is exactly what we like to see. I think we're at the point we might be able to, maybe once this last Corvette's uh, good to go, we might be able to take on this this space amoeba and clear the way and uh Jepris. Research complete. Construction right. complete. We can now clear those blockers. Uplifting doesn't concern us right now. Clearing tire blockers does concern us. But unlocking ocean worlds is possibly more important. Not sure if we have any impressive ocean worlds laying around here. Let's just have a quick look here. Yep. Desert Worlds, Continental Ocean Worlds, 10. Well, yes, we do have a very nice ocean world, so let's let's get that first. We want to be able to colonize all of the things here. And now, I think uh, that might be a good spot to call it. Our Corvette has been completed now, so our Feather Force's strength is now up to over 500. So we have a chance to take out those space amoebas. Um, so we might try that in the next episode. Uh, 
Hopefully it goes all right. And we'll continue to expand our borders. Uh, we're going to get this uh, frontier outpost built uh, quite shortly, actually. We'll take this uh, impressive mineral system here, and we'll start to continue to expand outwards. Maybe we'll check out this pulsar or whatever that is. But uh, in the meantime, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. So we have to wait 28 days at the onset of any battle before we can actually retreat. Which is fair, I suppose. <laughs>